In our part of town, the pavement is an open wound, the kind we bear with pride and sometimes can't bear at all, the evidence of our living. This road's liquid life will unfurl ahead of you. Only a bloated stretch of asphalt separates the touch of borrows. Killjoy. Maybe you'll outlive your postcode. Maybe you won't. Market deals, devil deals, kill burns, shoot up hills, streets with guns in their names, baby teeth in their pockets. Unspool their helixes to tell the tales of back of the night bus rebellions, shared headphone loops, the silver haired man blaring his boombox outside the fruit stands, yelling something about Cuba 1962, something that sounds like grief. Three doors down from the library, these walls once housed nuns, the heart of the street locked inside a prayer's hum. Now, it's a paddy power, nocturnal buzz of a hundred holy scuffed feet. We lift our hands up for those who pass through, for those who are passing, for the hope that we will one day leave this place, for the fear that nowhere else will be enough. Change is painful, we know this in our blood, but so is standing still. This place grows around your stillness, climbs alongside your lineage, like a fistful of vines. It's predictable, a rewound laugh track. I think of everything bright and loud made small, orphaned, of the red lush under my tongue, the kind of soft before a siren goes off. The only constant is this upheaval, the leaving and being left behind, the consonants scratched out on brick walls, a bittersweet cartography. What is now a pound lounge was once cordoned off in the 80s. Two men arrested for planning an IRA bombing. The script now flipped into the violence of trying to make a pound stretch. Our park is an open chest of green. Bigger now, they've demolished the walkways since the council scrubbed out the youngers and their spray cave paintings. Those markings, you could fit newborn palms into. 1975's long hot summer of vicious assaults. London Met advised locals to avoid the area. These days, on Eid, old men bend to kiss this bed of grass big enough to drown in. They say the rain smells like disintegration, like the feeling of stepping into the still warm shoes of a loved one. Leaf through these moments in our northwestern restlessness. Let them remind us tomorrow is not a closed door. <laughs>